These days, most people have phones that are basically powerful enough to be considered small computers. Whether you're rocking with an iPhone or an Android, any device released within the past couple of years is strong enough to do things like stream high quality videos, take near pro quality photos, and even shoot and edit full 4K videos. And with the power to do all of these things, it should be a given that phones can make for excellent gaming devices. I mean, we recently saw a release of Resident Evil 8 for iPhones, and I'm not gonna lie, it looks really solid. It runs better than you would expect the game to run on a Nintendo Switch, which is a dedicated gaming console. But why is it that here in North America, mobile gaming is still so looked down on by most people? Well, I've compiled a couple of reasons as to why I think this is the case, and we'll go over them all in the video today. But before we get too deep into it, if you enjoy this type of content, I have tons of video essays like this on my channel. So please consider subscribing and watching some other ones as well if you feel like supporting. It does mean a lot to me as it really helps my small channel grow. So thanks everyone and back to the video. Mobile gaming is not a recent phenomenon by any means. In fact, I remember jailbreaking my iPod Touch back in elementary school to play games like Pocket God or Balloons Tower Defense for free. I even used to install emulators so I could play Super Nintendo and PlayStation 1 games on it. But I was pretty quick to discover that doing these things was just something I thought was cool and it wasn't actually practical. I mean, at that time, phone technology wasn't nearly where it is now. So all of these games kind of ran poorly. It didn't make sense for me to struggle through laggy games with a mediocre battery life when I had access to things like a PlayStation 3 and a Game Boy Advance SP. So this brings me to my first point access to other gaming options. The mobile gaming market is currently dominated by countries in Asia, with China being at the forefront. One can speculate about the many reasons for this, but I think it's safe to say that the biggest factor is the cost of entry relative to other gaming options. In China, while brands like Samsung and Apple are quite pricey, it's easy to get an Android with pretty good specs for an extremely good price. This is why 4 out of the 5 best selling phone brands in China are Chinese brands. According to the statistics I found while researching for this video, in 2022 only 18% of internet users surveyed in China said they used game consoles, while a staggering 55% of them played video games on smartphones. Compare this to the United States where 53% of households reported to owning video game consoles in 2021. With so many people not owning game consoles but owning devices that are powerful enough to provide you with a decent gaming experience, it's pretty easy to understand why mobile gaming is so much larger as a whole in Asia. Now my next point is a much more obvious one, and that's the prominence of gotcha tactics in pretty much all mobile games. Gotcha, bitch. Now, I've heard the term gotcha a million times, and I knew the meaning, but I didn't know where it originated from. So if you're curious like I was, according to the Wikipedia, a gotcha game is a game that uses mechanics like loot boxes to entice players to spend currency to receive a random item. The term gotcha comes from the name of Japanese toy vending machines. While these mechanics are becoming increasingly popular in console games too, they really are in just about every single mobile game. Now, I don't speak for everyone, but personally, I would rather pay the $60 cost up front for a game than be constantly asked to spend money while playing. As no matter what the game is, I think this kind of ruins the gaming experience. I have a whole video talking about my hatred towards microtransactions in gaming, so it's safe to say that I'm not a big fan. But really, other than these big corporations, who is? The last reason I believe mobile gaming still hasn't taken off is because the need we have as humans to separate from certain devices in order to truly relax. I play video games as a way to unwind and remove myself from the stress of day-to-day -day life. And one of the things that really allows me to do that is gaming on a device that I don't already spend 5 plus hours on a day. We all know it's not healthy to spend so much time looking at our phones, yet we all still do it, even with the constant screen time reminders. And honestly, this is the same reason I've never been able to get into PC gaming. I spend so much time looking at a phone screen or computer screen throughout the day that gaming on those devices just ends up feeling like work. The small change of going into a different room or looking at a different screen is enough of a difference to be able to trick my brain into properly unwinding. Now I'm not saying I will never get into PC gaming, it's pretty clear that if you want the best possible performance, this is the way to go. But in my previous attempts, I had issues sitting at the computer desk all day. Just like I have issues with mobile gaming because I don't want to be looking at my phone screen all day. So at this point it's clear to me that even though there are games out there that are exclusive to mobile devices, that I would love to try out. 
I'll probably never get around to it because I would just rather game on my Switch, Xbox, or PS5. Though I do believe that as time goes on and phones continue to get better, mobile gaming will become increasingly popular. However, I just don't think it will ever be a preferred option for me. Anyways, that's it for the video. Are any of you fans of mobile gaming? Why or why not? Let me know down in the comments section below, and while you're at it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. If you really want to support my weekly uploads, you can always consider becoming a channel member, or even just going back and watching some of my older videos. As always, take care guys, and I will see you in the next one.